Will Noel is here. He's a security analyst at Checkmate.org, a well-known security expert from Calgary, and he's here to show us a little Unix, man, a little Unix. Hey, Will, good hey. to have you back. Good, thanks to have me back. We, we gave you a challenge. We said, can you, can you build a web server in under five minutes? Yes, but you didn't specify if I had to build the underlying operating system in <laughs> five minutes first. So, so you're going to yes, start with an existing OS. Yeah, we, as long as you've got it installed, then you can turn on the web server in about 12 seconds. Now, whether or not you want to do that, that's not going to be secure, it's not going to be tweaked or anything ah, like that. So. so you might want to change the configurations a little bit. But this is a good way just to expose to people just some of the underlying commands that you would right. use to get up and running. Now you're going to yeah. use OpenBSD yes. as opposed to, let's say, U Linux, which is another kind of flavor of, uh, of uh, open source. OpenBSD is what runs on OS X. In fact, OS X comes with Apache, the web server, built in. Yes, we're going to be using Apache. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And Apache isn't the only open source web server that you can use. There are numerous ones yeah. out there. Uh, Light HTTP or a whole bunch of others. Right. I can't remember names Tom right Cat. now. Tomcat. No, there's tons yeah. of them. They yeah. go on and on and on. But Apache is running probably most of the web. A Between Apache and Microsoft's IIS, IIS everything yeah. is running yeah. one or the other. And Open uh, OpenBSD is actually, uh, I believe, the the head uh, developer lives in Calgary, Theo Durat. Oh, that's neat. So we'll kind of, you know, I didn't know that. About Good. Calgary, so I'm bringing it in. So here's or, OpenBSD. A little yeah. props to our homeboy there. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so show us what we're going to do here to turn on the web server. Well, the screen that we're looking at right now, this is uh, this is where things get a little scary. We're You're the, in the terminal. We're at the terminal or at the command line. This is the first screen that you see after you've installed OpenBSD for the first time and okay. added a user. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to step through the three parts of the web server. Okay. The three parts of the web server are, as I'd like to call it, documentation, which OpenBSD is really well known for. Lots of documentation, everything's documented. It doesn't go out the door until it's been written down. Uh, the other part of it is the web server itself, uh, and then the other part is the document that we're going to be looking at, or the the, page. the thing, the, the thing that the page, the, right. the server server. The we're going to yeah. show. You got to so, have something to serve. Exactly. So back over here, if we browse to the internet address or the IP address that we've assigned, this to that is your computer. computer. Ain't nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing being served. We up. need to turn on a server. So we go. We go back over here. We're going to turn on a server. One of the basic uh, Unix commands or Linux commands that you really want to get started with is called man. Uh, man turn is manual. It brings up the manual for whatever piece of software you're going to run. And today we're going to run HTTPD, which is the web server service. D stands for daemon. It means it's demon, running yeah. in the background. So we went to, when we enter into that, we are greeted with this manual that has all this information about where the configuration is, how to start it and whatnot. Uh, the, wow. the key piece, yeah, there's a lot of you stuff. You don't have to, to learn through. all this. We don't. But the key thing is that at the bottom of all, of all these man files, they're going to show us a list of files that might be useful and also a list of commands that might be useful. The important piece of information that we're going to pull out of this is that there's a file called httpd.conf, which is the configuration file. That's the key to the whole, the key to the whole thing. Caboodle. And then there's also Apache Control, which is what we're going to use to turn on and turn off the web server. That's actually kind of a, pr a little program, it's a little script. A little script, yeah, yeah. basically. Uh, so what we could do if we wanted to is we could take a look at that file uh, by typing in Vivard. VI is his editor. Correct, yeah. And the reason I chose VI is that no matter what Unix or Linux or BSD I've been on, I've always found that Vi is there to use. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a, a lot of people have other ones that they, they like, like Emacs to use or, or Pico. Yeah. There's a whole lot of them, but VI is, once These, you learn VI, you're kind of yeah, set. You yeah, got, you have foundations everywhere. Yeah. So again, the config file is huge and long as well, <laughs> but it's a great I've spent place. so many hours yeah. in Apache config. Oh you my goodness. You can learn so much by reading the <laughs> config file. And you can break so much by oh, changing yes, one yes, little yes. thing. <laughs> so the next command. So make, by the way, make a copy before you modify yes, it. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Now we're not going to make any edits. We're I just always gonna forget to do that. <laughs> yeah, you got to watch out for that yeah, sometimes. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to run it just base out of the box, so we're going to get it started here. But it comes configured, ready to run. Right, ready to roll. Yeah. One Maybe thing that we have secure, to do, though, is that we have to run it as root or the super user. Okay. So I'm typing in su, which stands for super user. These are all commands you're going to use again and, and again, again and again, all the no matter time. what you're doing in BSD or Linux. Yeah. So once I've typed in the password, uh, if I can get it right. Uh, su says I'm the super user. I'm and now, now the, you are. That's the, why that hash signs there. You right, are the super user. Right. to the pound. Yeah. yeah. And then once, I, once I'm here, I can now actually type in Apache Control, which is the, la uh, the command that we got That's out of the man script, yeah. And then we're going to type in Start after it. And when we do that, it's going to give us a little message that says that the web server started. That's it. You're That's running it. the web server. If we go back to here and we refresh the page. Look at that. It worked. And the next beautiful thing about this is that now that we have this web page up, even though this is just the, the base starting point, this links me to the web formatted manual for OpenBSD, so I don't have to read through all the. So you can actually learn more right now. Yeah, we can just start clicking through. We can find out now how to do things Now we have 30 seconds like more. SSL. You did it in under five minutes. 
You There's want to actually change that, that page? Let's see if we can do this. Uh, it's good. in var dub 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 ht doc. Uh, this is where uh, var. You uh, left that one uh, t. Uh, did I? Yeah. Change director ht docs. Uh, there you go. H no uh, uh, okay. okay. He's, he's, he's copying the index.html. Uh, index.org so that I don't lose it. Yep. And then I'm going to vi index.html. This is the page that is loaded. And we're going to insert the. Just write hello. hello. <laughs> Uh, with Leo. Oh, let's see what happens. He's got to save it. Save it, and then uh, we. Then let's go back, back to our browser. Re refresh. Did it work? Yes, yeah. we have a website. There we go. Not a great website, but that was pretty good. Five minutes, 30 seconds. Congratulations. <laughs> Will Knoll is at checkmate.org. He's a security analyst. It's a great place if you're into security to meet other security great pros. Great place to start. Exchange information. C-H-E-K, no C, M-A-T-E dot org. Thank you so much for, Thanks for having joining me. us. This is a wonderful thing to learn and play with, and you're going to spend more time, I'm sure, if you ever do a web server in that. Oh, Believe yes. you me. A final word.